Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and welcome to my Photoshop Essential Skills for Artist video training course. This is a course for digital artists who want to learn how to enhance their pre-existing digital artwork or new artwork using the power of Photoshop. We'll learn how to change color, transform, warp, add effects, and lots of other things that might be useful for artists. We will be skipping over a whole bunch of other stuff just to make this course lean and mean and right to the point. It's really gonna focus on what's important to artists. Having said that though, I will be really thorough and I'll go over all of the essential palettes and tools and menus in Photoshop so that you not only know how to use Photoshop starting out, but you can then apply Photoshop to a whole bunch of different tasks that you might come across as a digital artist. If your favorite digital painting application supports the PSD file format, you can really easily move artwork between Photoshop and programs like Corel Painter or ArtRage. So before we go on, I just want to give you a little bit of background on myself and Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop for about 15 years. I started out kind of tinkering with it as a teenager, and I learned how to use it a little bit in college, and I've been using it ever since to create my own graphics, to create graphic design for clients like layouts and logos and brochures, business cards, things like that. And I also use it to enhance my own digital artwork. So what is Photoshop and what are the advantages of using it? Photoshop is an image manipulation application. I know there's a lot of artists who paint with Photoshop, but personally I think Photoshop's not very good for painting. What it is good for is everything else. Changing colors, manipulating images, removing backgrounds from images, removing elements from images that you don't want to be there, improving lighting, and a lot of other editing related things. So that's really what I use Photoshop for. I do all my painting in Corel Painter and ArtRage and programs that are meant for painting. So what are some of the advantages to using Photoshop? First of all, a lot of Photoshop's tools are superior to their counterparts and other applications. For example, the type tool in Photoshop beats the heck out of the type tool in Corel Painter. Corel Painter's type tool doesn't even come close. So needless to say, if I'm adding text to something, I'm gonna be doing that in Photoshop, not Painter. Photoshop also offers more options. It's less buggy, it crashes less, and it works a lot faster because it does a better job of utilizing a modern computer, memory, and a modern video card. You also tend to get better results when you're changing colors or improving lighting. Besides the advantages and speed that Photoshop offers, there's also a lot of time-saving things like automation, where you could take a whole folder of images and apply a whole bunch of different effects to those images and resize them and save them as a particular format all automatically just by selecting that folder and telling Photoshop what you want it to do. It'll go through all those files rapid fire and process them all for you. And best of all, Adobe is constantly updating Photoshop. It gets updated at least every couple months and they add all kinds of new features and improve upon what's already there. So I really love that. So now that we know a little bit about this course and a little bit about Photoshop, let's dive a little deeper into how to use Photoshop along with your favorite digital painting applications. What's compatible, what is not, how do you transfer files back and forth, and things like that. That's coming up next. <laughs> 